Emily Gray was never one to shy away from a challenge. So, when she was assigned to research the history of the infamous Blackwood Manor, she saw it as an exciting opportunity rather than a daunting task. The old town of Blackwood had always been shrouded in mystery, and the decaying manor at its heart seemed to be the source of all the tales of tragedy and horror that surrounded the area. Despite the warnings of the superstitious locals, Emily was determined to uncover the truth behind the curse of Blackwood Manor. Armed with her notebooks and camera, she ventured into the dark forest that surrounded the estate, feeling a chill run down her spine as she caught her first glimpse of the imposing manor through the trees. As she stepped over the threshold of the grand front doors, Emily felt as though she had been transported back in time. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the once magnificent interior was now cloaked in shadows and dust. But Emily was undeterred, she had a job to do, and she was not going to let a few ghost stories scare her away. As she delved deeper into the manor's dark past, Emily began to uncover a series of secrets that had long been buried. Tales of betrayal, murder, and madness filled the pages of the old journals and letters she found hidden away in the dusty library. But the more she uncovered, the more she felt a sense of unease creeping over her. It wasn't long before Emily realized that she was not alone in Blackwood Manor. Shadows flitted at the corner of her vision, and strange noises echoed through the empty halls. Visions of ghostly figures haunted her dreams, their accusing eyes silently watching her every move. It became clear that the spirits of the manor were not pleased with her intrusion, and they were determined to protect their secrets at any cost. As the days turned into weeks, Emily found herself consumed by the mystery of Blackwood Manor. The line between the living and the dead began to blur, and she struggled to distinguish between reality and the phantoms that seemed to be closing in on her from all sides. But she was determined to uncover the truth, even if it meant putting her own soul in jeopardy. In a final, desperate attempt to break the curse of Blackwood Manor, Emily unearthed a long-forgotten ritual that promised to free the spirits trapped within its walls. As she lit the candles and began the incantations, she could feel the energy shifting around her, the air crackling with an otherworldly power. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the curse was lifted, and Blackwood Manor fell silent once more. The spirits that had tormented Emily for so long faded away, their anguished wails echoing through the night. As the first light of dawn crept over the horizon, Emily emerged from the manor, her eyes filled with a new sense of understanding and a newfound respect for the power of the supernatural. Blackwood Manor may have been haunted, but Emily had faced its darkness head on and emerged victorious. And as she walked back through the forest towards the town of Blackwood, she knew that the stories of the cursed estate would live on, but she also knew that she had played a part in setting its troubled spirits free.